Okay, hello, I'm Chris, and this is my how to wire up a three wire GM internally regulated alternator like this one. This video is going to show you everything you need to know to wire this up on anything an old tractor, a deer lease vehicle, a Jeep, anything that they have a conversion kit for. Show you how to put this on there. So, the main thing you need to know about this is that this is a 12 volt system. Okay, so if you're putting this on something, you need to go through that and make sure that you convert everything you need to convert over to 12 volts. Another thing is that we're going to be talking about the wire size. This right here charges the battery. This needs to be a 10 gauge stranded wire. I'm going to make a custom wire and diagram so you can screenshot it. Okay, now I'm just going to go over uh, the wire sizes and uh, how to wire this up if you want to screenshot a diagram and talk about it. Okay, so all these parts are grounded naturally. So I'm not going to do anything with the ground side. Okay, so we're going to do this in the color style of GM since this is a GM alternator. Okay, that's the only wires that I know. Okay, so the main thing we're going to connect is this battery right here. We're making this wire extra big. That's the only thing that that big cable should be going to. It doesn't have to go to anything else. Just right there on the starter solenoid. Now, I forgot if it's a 1 odd or a 2 odd. We're just going to put uh big cable okay that's the only thing that this is supposed to be connected to now you want to uh, I hope you understand what the junctioning block is um, this right here uh, you can easily add that it would be like a junctioning terminal or terminal block or junction block you could probably buy that anywhere and uh, the way that the GM style is is they have a 10 gauge run here and that's what I was talking about it's very important that you use the right gauge wires you can't play around and put a uh, an 18 gauge right here you can't play around with these wires so that's why I'm telling you what wires to use this junction block is where this is gonna go to this is the wire that charges your battery on your alternator this is also a 10 gauge. Now your ignition switch is going to need a 12 volts from the battery too. Going back to the junction block, the ignition switch is going to use another 10 gauge. Red wire. We got the hots run. Okay now let's get into the alternator. The number one position is a exciter wire slash dummy light wire. The way that this is run is it gets 12 volts on with the key and goes through a 194 dummy light. Oh, I forgot to put that. The only thing that you have to do to number one is to turn it on hot with the key. On with the off, on, sends power to this terminal right here exciting the alternator this wire also goes through a 194 bulb they call the dummy light and it will turn on when you turn your key on when you crank your engine as soon as it starts charging it it interrupts that circuit and it shuts your light off so it's not gonna have any power in it after it starts charging now GM cars this would be blue going to that this is an 18 gauge blue wire now you could run it blue all the way or but the way that they're run is brown 18 gauge Okay, so that's the way that they run it back to the dash for the dummy line. Okay, so number one position, very simple. 18 gauge through a 194 dummy light. 
through a 194 dummy light and then over to the ignition on on with the key very important you do not run this wire uh, constant all the time it'll drain your battery down you do not wire you have to wire this ignition on only very important that this is on with the key and off with the key okay okay the number two position on this alternator is a voltage sensing wire all it has to do is go back to 12 volts now this is the one where people will jump it over here I don't like to do it like that I will run it back in the harness to the junctioning block but it's very optional on a tractor of course you would just jump it right there but if you have you know try to keep it neat uh, I have other videos talking about that uh, but you can jump it here or here so we're gonna use a dotted line okay so we're gonna use that dotted line this is an 18 gauge okay so sorry that's supposed to be white um, but just showing you that dots because it's optional where you run that okay now the last thing is the starter okay so you got 10 gauge running in and this starter wire is purple starter solenoid whatever it really is I don't know this is a 10 gauge purple wire 10 gauge purple wire going to your solenoid to start your car okay the, the only terminal left is accessories we're not going to use that on this that's when you turn the key back you turn your radio on and stuff accessories and in our position, that's a points ignition, you would run this to the coil, but we're not gonna get into that, sorry. Just in case you're wondering. But real quick, let's just talk about the key real fast. Um, so I'm gonna take it out of this. But the key, the accessories, is that when you turn the key back, this is off. When I'm talking about ignition on, I'm talking about the first click. And then when you start the car, it sends power to S. Only momentarily, the crank, and then when it starts, it goes back in the on position. So the key stays in the on position. And then you turn it off. And then accessory. Just to make that 100% clear because this stuff is getting old now. If you were doing this in a tractor or some old kind of car or something, you, you, would, you would figure out a way to mount the 194 bulb right there. Just wanted to show you that. And uh, this is a universal uh, ignition switch. Okay, we're gonna go over wiring it right now, but the dummy light is gonna work on this setup. We're gonna go ahead and do it like it was in the car. You're gonna go ahead and uh, hook your battery up. And this battery cable is gonna go, this was the big cable we're talking about. There's only one. The only thing that this should be going to is the starter solenoid. Now on these systems you have a junctioning block, so you can use a terminal block, junction block, whatever you want to call it. Some cars have a horn relay with a bus bar. Uh, some people will actually uh, run that back there. You can do whatever you want, but I like to make things look like the factory made them. Okay, so I'm going to use this little uh, junctioning block. Okay. and note that these are 10 gauge wires right here okay so if this is coming straight off the battery we need a 10 gauge wire to feed our junction block because this is where you would run accessories off okay next thing we're going to hook our now this wire charges the battery charges the system it's a 10 gauge wire it's the only thing that should be connected to this bolt right now okay now we run this back to the junction of block and you can kind of see what's happening now see we got straight from the battery so this is charging straight here charging the battery 
just want you to see how that's labeled accessories we're not going to use accessories the starter wire bolts to the back right here okay this is just a universal switch to wire our switch up you have to run 12 volts to the switch on a 10 gauge wire this needs to be a 10 gauge wire for sure okay now this is going to go back to the junctioning block got that hooked up battery to junction block now we're going to hook up the starter wire go into the solenoid on the starter make sure you have it in the S position and not in the R or it won't do anything okay purple wire goes back to this place on it for the starter this is our little dummy light going to the dash um, we're going to put number one position the exciter wire slash dummy light one position it goes through a 194 bulb and it uh, goes back to the key switch and it comes on with the key on with the key ignition on with the key okay now the number two voltage sensing like I was saying, you can either run it right here back to hot, or you can run it to the junctioning block. I'm gonna run it to the junctioning block. Now that you see the way everything's wired up, the steps I went through to wire it, how I wired it, the junctioning block, dummy light's gonna work. Um, and real quick, whenever you turn this on with the key, it's gonna, it sends 12 volts to number one position, exciting, the alternator as soon as that alternator starts charging it's going to interrupt that circuit and shut this light off okay so if you are testing an old alternator and for some reason this light won't shut off the alternator is bad okay you need to buy you a new alternator um, just went through that the other day testing an old alternator um, light wouldn't go off but it was still charging so that alternator is a core now okay so that will happen the alternator can still be charging and not shut this light off so if it doesn't shut this light off you don't need to put a diode in there number one position comes on with the key excites the alternator when the alternator starts charging it shuts this light off now if this light does not shut off it can still charge and not shut off you need to go buy another alternator because the alternator is going out and it's uh, it's going to start giving problems I had one I was testing like that the other day, the light went off, and then it wouldn't go off, and then it would charge, it wouldn't charge, so there's something in there, I don't know, it's beyond me, but uh, that light stays on, go get you a new alternator. Well, I hope you understand a little bit more about what's going on to run that alternator, it's very simple, ask me any questions, thanks for watching.